Um, and uh, this is my shop, Cutthroat Corbin's Barber Shop. Oh, I've had a lot of help from you know various mentors. Just a lot of a lot of positive influences that have had experience with business and stuff like that. They've they've helped me out a ton. Well, I, I really it really um, was the culture that caught my eye at first. Uh, you know, the old school, the the shaves, the old chairs, the straight razors, um, and that's kind of the culture that I clung to as I started my journey as a barber. I've been cutting hair and I've been interested in barbering since my sophomore year of high school. So that's when it started. I was cutting hair in my kitchen, then I moved to a room upstairs in my house, and now I guess I'm moving to uh, Cutthroat Corbin's Barbershop. But it was really that traditional style, um, the old school practices, the lather, the smells of the barbershop. That's what really caught my attention. I want, I want a nostalgic experience for older uh, clients, and I want a brand new experience for, for younger ones. Uh, I want them to feel like they're in a barber shop, you know? Um, my grandfather came in and he was like, wow, this feels like a barber shop. And that's kind of what I really wanted to nail in was that idea that this is a barber shop. Over here. I feel like the name is, you know, catches, catches the ear a little funny, Cutthroat Corvins. Um, that name is a reference to barber culture over, <laughs> it's, it's a reference to barber culture over in the United Kingdom, the UK. They call straight razors, uh, cutthroat razors. Um, and I, I kind of took that as my name, Cutthroat Corbin's the alliteration. Uh, I call it uh, gentleman's culture. It's a, it's a, it's a word that I coined. Um, the definition, something that me and a friend wrote up, is, over, is on the wall, chalked into the wall.